from Yandy Diaz, your first career walk-off. And a Gatorade bath to show for it as well. Yandy, your first career walk-off. It's got to feel cold, but it's got to feel good. Take me through that at bat and how you were able to deliver yet again for this team. Primer walk-off in tu carrera. Obvio tienes frío, pero cómo se sintió ese ese turno y qué estabas buscando ahí. No, cuánta calentura, cuánta calentura, este frío no pasa nada. Simplemente traté de buscar un batazo y bueno, ya salió, salió. If I get cold with this, that's all right. All I was trying to do is just to get make good contact and hopefully hit the ball hard. Take me through the pinch hit. You you had a scheduled off day today, Yandy. You come in to pinch hit. You deliver to to you know give the team the. the The, the lead run at that time, five to four. Take me to that at bat. Tenías el día libre hoy, obvio. Pero qué qué buscaste en ese pinche, en ese doble que cogiste ahí. No tú no tú sabes que en este equipo es día libre. Uno tiene que estar siempre listo para todo lo que pase. Yo estaba listo para todo lo que lo que pasara y bueno, ya sabía yo jugué y ganamos. Everyone knows on this team you never have a full day off. You always got to be ready. I was up there ready for anything at any moment. Can you describe what this season has meant to you, Yandi? You became a father this year. You are in contention for the AL batting title, uh, an MVP as well, and you helped this team in a playoff race win an important ball game. What has this season meant to you? Yeah, ¿cómo sientes de esta temporada para ti? Has tenido un niño, fuiste una estrella, están hablando tal vez el título del averaje y el MVP. ¿Qué puedes decir de este año para ti? No, simplemente es un año que que nunca lo voy a olvidar, especialmente por tener la primer hijo a, a mi primer niño. Y bueno, irá a saber las cosas me están saliendo bien y seguir trabajando. This is the, the year I'll never forget. You know, aside from having a good season here with my first uh, kid as well, you know, this is something I'll never forget. I'm glad things are going well. Last thing for you, Yandi, the way this team is playing right now, you've got 19 games left in the regular season. How well is this ball club gelling at the right time right now? 19 juegos que nos faltan. ¿Qué tan unidos está este equipo ahorita? Oh, demasiado unido. Yo creo que el pensamiento es ganar los 19 juegos y no ganar los 19 juegos, sino ganar la Serie Mundial, que es el objetivo. No, this team is really united right now. The goal right now, I think everyone's mentality is to win all 19 games and not even just the 19, to go all the way up and win the World Series. Kevin, just to start, your team's yeah. ability down 4-1 yet again to rally and the offense coming through yeah. late. Yeah, I mean, Christy asked earlier today about it and, uh, I mean, wins are wins. We'll take them and just build momentum. But, you know, it was... Savali had a, uh, a rough go early on. Obviously, I think he did a nice job of settling, keeping it right there, similar to what Taj did, and just continued to buy us time. And then we had some really big at bats there um, towards the end, second half of the game to, to tie it and then take the lead and Yandi's heroics throughout the late of the game. Yeah, so much for the off day for Yandi. And just yeah. Take me through both at bats, the pinch hit to come through, and then obviously the game winner. Yeah, I mean, look, he, he you have so much trust and confidence in him that. Uh, he's going to give you a really good at bat. He's not always going to go up there and get get a hit or square it up, but he's going to handle good pitching. He's going to handle breaking balls, and he did that. You know, he laid off a tight pitch inside, expanded on a slider his first at bat, and then I'm not sure what he hit, if it was an off-speed pitch or not, for the double. Um, and then the last at bat, um, you know, we probably want him up as much as anybody. You mentioned Savali. What adjustments did he make to be able to settle in there? You know what? I, I think he he just felt a little out of whack. I didn't really ask him, but he fighting himself a little bit. You know, he's pitching at the top of the zone. He pitches at the top of the zone so well, uh, but today he was a little out of the zone at the top, and it caused him to fall behind some hitters and not be able to finish guys off. And then just an update on Paredes. I know we can't. He's good. Yeah, he's good. X-rays were negative. Uh, likely, we're going to give him the day anyways tomorrow. Um, but he should be fully available. Yandi now leads the majors in batting average after the seventh inning, seventh inning or later. What makes him so good in these situations late? Um, I, I don't know if I have the, the best answer. I mean, he's just such a complete hitter with the, you know, the power that he's added this year, uh, the ability that the, 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 the bat path that just stays in the zone so long he handles good pitching when you're saying that in this game now you think about the pitchers that come in and throw the seventh eighth and ninth they're, they're throwing high v low with some wipe out off speed those last two at-bats by Taylor Walls. It big. seems like he just kind of got back in sync. Yeah, big at-bats. I know he was he was fighting himself a little bit. He's been pitched tough. They've done, a, they've done a good job of executing pitches to him right at the top. Um, but the, the, the hit, obviously, he'll take. Uh, and then the walk to lay off there. He knows who's on deck and who's behind him. And it's his job. You know, he took a 3-1 pitch probably right down the middle. Pretty selfless at bat to, to continue to give us a chance to get him on base and Yanni to the plate. There's virtually no mention of Diaz in the MVP conversation. Is it time for that to change? 
I think that's fair. That's better for you guys, but I, I mean, he certainly has done MVP things for us. Uh, we've asked him to learn a new position. He's done that. He's played well at first base, and he's just knocked the cover off the ball all season long. That's a critical knock from Jonathan Aranda, too. Yeah, we did. Johnny was another, like, Walsy kind of made an adjustment, got a... He stayed on a changeup for the first hit, and then they've been really attacking him with a lot of fastballs for the most part. He, you know, rifled that ball down the other uh, line, so... Big at bats from both those guys. This team has 12 comeback wins in the last month. I mean, you talked about belief. Is there anything else other than just believing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like to, I like we're coming back and winning. I mean, it, it's probably better for those guys to answer that. Wild right. pitches have been a bugaboo for you this year. Yeah, a little bit. Today. Look, Bob what Stevenson. Needs to change your third in the league in most wild pitches. What needs to change to improve in that? I mean, our pitchers are really, really good. They, they got elite off speed pitches, you know, low 90s breaking balls. That's a nightmare for catchers. And when they, you know, misfire, uh, it's really challenging. But I, I know that our guys continue to work and we want to instill that trust and confidence that, the, you know, whether it's Pete or Bob or Poche at the end or Glasnow that they can throw that and, and we'll continue to work towards that. Devin had mentioned you knew who was on deck right behind you yeah. in terms of taking that walk. How nice was it to see you get that walk and then Yanni deliver? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's how you draw it up. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just trying to do my best to get on base. Um, you know, put the ball and play hard somewhere and I couldn't really pick it up out of his hand to be honest. So as soon as I, I saw spin, I was going to auto take it until I got two strikes and then... Uh, yeah, he gave me another one, two strikes, and I saw it a little bit better, and I knew it was kind of in. So getting on base, Yandy hitting a homer, I guess, can't can any better than that. How do you marvel at the way Yandy is hitting this year, just how he continues to deliver this team whenever he's asked to? I, I mean, that's Yandy. I feel like everybody in this locker room saw that in him, you know, this year, last year, the year before. He's always hit balls extremely hard, and now he's just elevating them a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's just who he is. He's one of the best hitters I've been around myself personally throughout my entire career, and I feel like that I've played against. So, uh, you know, I feel like he, he's just one of those guys that you just know and you can count on that he's always going to have a good at bat and he's going to put the ball in it. The yeah, bats you've been putting together, you obviously had that that single that uh, brought in the run there and then the walk. How much confident, more confident are you feeling at the plate right now? Uh, I feel pretty good. I got pitched pretty tough, I guess, yesterday uh, and the day before. I'm um, trying not to let that get too much in my head and trying to commit to what I do best, I guess, and, uh, and lay off the pitches I know I'm, I'm weak against. And so that's just kind of the thing. It's just trying to make the adjustment uh, of set my sights down, committed to my approach, committed to, the, to my strengths, and trying to get on base and put the ball in play. Um, try not to get too consumed with, you know, if they're executing pitches that I know I struggle against and, and, and try to make adjustments to something that I feel like I don't really have a, a good chance to have success over in the long run anyway. So uh, that's kind of where my mind's been at. And, as a hitting staff, that's kind of where we're at. So hopefully we can take that in to tomorrow and the rest of the month. It's your ninth walk-off win, your 33rd come from behind win. Why is this team able to do that so often? Um, I mean, I think it's honest, just the game plays out that way and gives us those opportunities first off. But I think second off, uh, everybody's pretty composed. Um, I feel like we're pretty comfortable in those situations. We don't let the moment get too big. We uh, take it pitch by pitch, next man up mentality, and um, and we just try to do our best to grind it out and not be the last one at the plate. Is there a belief in this team that no matter what, you guys are going to come out on top? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody in here would have that belief. I, th I feel like you probably wouldn't be at this level if you didn't. Just take me through how you were able to settle in after that first inning. It seemed like you started to finally catch a group there. Sure. Um, yeah, definitely didn't feel like I had very good control in that first inning there. Um, just did my best to battle through it and knowing this team that they can come back as long as the game's uh, within reach. Um, just did my best to keep it as close as I could. Was it, you, you just mentioned control. Is that what you kind of felt? You just weren't really hitting the spots you needed to in that first? I um, felt like the stuff wasn't where it needed to be and wasn't controlling the individual pitches. Um, just did my best to try and settle in um, and compete. Do you kind of have a feeling that if you did keep this team in the ball game, that they'd be able to do what we saw them do, which is come back yet again? Yeah, I think all our starters and even bullpen guys know that as long as they go out there and minimize, uh, runs are going to happen. But I think our offense, what th what they can do, it's definitely a huge comfort. I know you're kind of new uh, to this team, but do you marvel at what Yanni Diaz is able to do in terms of how much he can come through for this ball club? For sure. Um, I think three or four of my starts now, he's come up huge, and it's – it's really fun to see. Um, I think the, what this team can do is, is really impressive. So when you have a first inning like that, what do you have to do going forward to change it? What did you do to change it and make it better? 
just got to try and put it behind you. Uh, there's nothing you can do to change the past. Obviously, it's frustrating and something that I'll dissect and work on moving forward, but there's nothing I can do to, to go back and change anything. So I just got to do my best to put it behind me and keep working. Did you identify any mechanical thing or any grip thing? Just trying to make in-game adjustments. But on the field, but your ability to come through in that moment, take me through the at bat, and how you're able to deliver the big hit. La habilidad de poder contribuir en ese turno que estás buscando ahí. No, contento, sabes, por por dar el juego hoy y pude ayudar, sabes, nada más estaba buscando un picheo y hacer un un sin fuerte y, 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 y lo hice y salió el batazo. No, I'm happy I can help the team win. I was looking for a good pitch to hit there. Um, luckily, I was able to get it and I was able to, to connect on a good ball there. In a situation where you're coming off the bench, how do you stay ready to deliver in a moment and moments like you did tonight? ¿Cómo te quedas ready en un juego así cuando no empieza no, tú sabes, yo soy de los, de los jugadores que no me gusta como salir de, de mi gente, pero bueno, aquí me he adaptado porque aquí uno no tiene día, día libre, ¿sabes? Y eso fue lo que hice hoy. I'm one of the guys that doesn't really like to come in late in the game. You know, if I have the day off, I have the day off. But you got to know over time, being on this team, you got to be ready at any moment. The ability of this team to, to come back, uh, you've done it time and time again this season. But what makes this team so good at whenever you're down to, to not fret and be able to come back and take the lead? Pues si de este equipo nunca se rinda. Parece que siempre estamos atrás y luego regresamos para estar encima de ellos. ¿Qué puedes decir del equipo? No, yo siempre digo que hasta el lado 27 de aquí no nada se ha acabado. Y sabes que es un equipo que que muchas veces hemos empezado perdiendo, pero bueno, ya en los momentos finales, cuando la gente no piensa que vamos a ganar, sacamos lo mejor de nosotros. Well, we said the game isn't over until that 27th out is made. And, and for us, you know, we went out there to try to just to just try to battle, and we came out there on top, and we never gave up until the end. Can you kind of take us through your day? Like, when did Cash or somebody come to you and tell you to get ready for the seventh inning, and what you were doing until that point? ¿Cuándo empezaron a decir que tal vez vas a entrar al juego? No, simplemente yo estaba sentado aquí adentro y salí para afuera como en como el séptimo vino y hice unos swings y ahí ya pensé que estaba listo y ahí me, me, me llamaron para ti. I was uh, sat in the dugout for, I was sat in the clubhouse here up until probably about the sixth or seventh inning and I went in there, took a few swings and I was just ready for whenever he called me from that point on. Yandy, you lead the majors in average in the seventh inning or later. You're the league's best hitter in that situation. What makes you so good in close and late situations? You're the leader in average in the seventh inning and on. Why do you think you're so good in these situations late in the game? No, I didn't know because I took my statistics of how to hit the people and they are not good, but I'm happy for the statistics that they gave me now. I didn't know about those stats. I'm, I'm not the one to really look over at my stats, especially late in the game, but you know, it's good to know that those stats are good out there. How much do you, how much do you relish those kind of moments? How much do you like those moments? No, me gusta, me gusta esos momentos de, de ¿sabes? Como de tensión, ahí es cuando yo me, me relajo más y saco lo, lo mejor de mí. Seems like in moments of tension is when I kind of relax and focus a little bit more. I know Yandy's not a big stats guy, like you said, but does he feel he's done enough to at least be considered for the most valuable player award, especially given the fact that the Rays have the second best record in the league? Me gusta mirar los, los números, pero ¿qué puedes decir de tal vez? Están mencionando tu nombre en MVP y la temporada que hemos tenido nosotros todos. No, con, no contento, o sea, no me gusta mirar muchos números, simplemente me enfoco de, de jugar para mi equipo, pero bueno, contento por, por los resultados que teniendo. No, I'm happy for the results that I'm getting. I'd say I don't like to get the, to look at the stats. I just like to worry about my team and help them win.